Okay, I've rejigged everything back up. I've gone through all of my little upright uh, gusset pieces and I've dressed and cleaned and prepped all the ends. And this particular joint, this side of the cradle, I've prepped. You can't see it, but I've prepped. I've ground the mill scale off in this area. Maybe you can see a little bit of the mill scale removed from right there. So this whole area is prepped and ready to be welded. So let me get the welder out and we'll get this side welded up. So all the joints are tacked into place and the wind is cooperating with me right now so I think I'll just uh, go ahead and weld up uh, these three joints. So I got all three of these joints welded up. Hopefully this will focus a little bit. There we go. So not bad, I had one little spot right here where the wind got me, I got a little porosity. I had a gust of wind come up, but for the most part, it went real smooth, so. I'm happy with that and we'll just uh, move on there to the other side. So it started raining out here, and hopefully it'll just drizzle a little bit so I can uh, keep filming. Uh, otherwise, we're just gonna, I got a metal roof up here, it's just gonna pound on that thing, it's gonna be hard for you to hear me. So, what we got going right now, I finished welding both ends of the cradle. Both uprights and both upright supports are done. So now we're ready to work on the truss that's gonna go here on the bottom end. It's gonna be, it's probably gonna be more of an arc shape than a triangle shape. Uh, just because uh, bending this half inch rod, all I got to bend it with is map gas and it'll do it But it just takes a while and it's really not gonna make a difference in strength whether it's a triangle or an arch At least not for this application. So I've got a few of the pieces cut. So let me get the camera set up on the tripod and uh, I'll explain to you uh, how I'm gonna fabricate that truss there in the center So you're looking at the center of the cradle itself. This is four feet Remember that the cradle is eight feet in length or this piece of square tube is eight feet in length so this is the center at four feet. Right here, this is gonna be the bottom of the truss. This is what's gonna make, really gonna make probably more of an arch than a triangle, uh, but that's gonna be the bottom of uh, support truss. And I've got two pieces right here. These are six inches long, and I've cut them at a bevel because they're gonna be angled inwards towards each other. We're gonna do a weld in the center there. And then the lower truss piece is gonna uh, center up there in that little saddle, that'll get welded itself. 
Now the reason I'm doing two of these is because I don't want this truss, this piece right here, to keel over in one direction or, or another. These two pieces, I've got a center line here and I've got a mark up here which is three quarters of an inch from the bottom of the square tubing. These are gonna be welded like this. There's gonna be another one on the bottom. Then I'm gonna heat it up right about there. I'm gonna weld it and probably put some more heat on it while it's still hot from welding and bend this inwards, both of them. So now we've got that little triangle right there. That's gonna help prevent this from folding inwards uh, or you know one direction or, or another. The remaining little strut pieces that'll go between the square tube and the round tube, those are gonna be straight, just welded on there in this manner. So we got, we got all our pieces cut. All we need to do now, our area is prepped. We just gotta weld it. So I'll get the square, the square out, tack weld these in place, and then we'll burn them in uh, for good. So this half inch material is a little bit thicker than what my uh, little Millermatic 135 MIG welder can handle. So I'm going to add a little preheat to this before I get started just so I don't have a cold, uh, cold weld when I start it. So because this lower piece was in the way, I kind of had to bang on it a little bit to get it to set up how I want it. But we're pretty good, got a little bit of a gap there. I'm gonna clamp that together, then we'll weld it on each side, and then we'll be ready to add our truss bar there on the bottom. All right, so we're ready to put our lower truss piece in place. I've got a center line marked on there. I'm just gonna tack weld it. Now I've got both ends coped. I'm just gonna try and line those up. I'm gonna get my welding gun ready. Here's my center line. I'm gonna rotate these a little bit. So that we're close. And then we'll just tack it. All right, that'll hold it and allow me to adjust it. So we're good on our center line. We're good on our coked ends. So now I'm gonna check level. We're at least parallel with the square tubing. So I'm gonna burn this joint in. So our truss bar is fully welded there to the center support. I'm just gonna use a clamp to draw this in and uh, then we'll weld this, uh, this bar up here to the uh, piece of square tubing. 